In this short video, I want to go over a nice example where U substitution is not very obvious. Let's try. Well, usually I can see that we have x to the 4 plus 1, and if I try to use U to have be x to the 4, then du will become 4x cubed, and we don't have x cubed anywhere else in the numerator, so it's not very helpful. So here's an interesting idea. What if we're going to try to have u to be x squared? You will see in a second why it might work. But intuition behind it, since du will be 2x dx, then at least I have this part. I have something x at the top, so we can use that. Well, if I'm using u as a substitution for x squared, then the new integral becomes usually i keep four you can already change it using this two if you want four stays sometimes i even kick it out from the integral sometimes it's just convenient to do it four integral then x dx what happens with x dx from this piece over here x dx is du over 2. Make sense? Then I will have instead of x dx, I will have du over 2. This over 2 piece is a little bit annoying to have inside of the integral. So I will use purple color over here and show you that this is the one that goes to the denominator but in front of the integral. So did you understand? It's supposed to be du over 2, and then I kicked it out outside, just not to make a mess inside of the integral. Then I still have x to the 4 plus 1 piece, but since x squared is u, then x to the 4 will be, guess what? You're right, u squared plus 1. Make sense? I can write it down for you if you want u, or like this, x to the 4 is x squared, squared, so it becomes u squared because x squared is u. So the whole integral becomes 2 in front, integral du all over u squared plus 1. That's kind of it. I don't see anything else to substitute, to fix. But then it's supposed to hit my memory. I saw this before. I saw it somewhere, probably, probably in Calculus 1 class. And we hope you remember these formulas, because if you remember in Calculus 1, in Calculus 1, we told you that if you differentiate arctangent, arctangent, or tangent minus 1, doesn't matter, tangent minus 1x, what is derivative of tangent minus 1x? 1 over x squared plus 1. Yes, that's exactly what we need over here. But instead of x, we have u. So, I would keep having orange color to show you that I am keep going from that orange integral. So, it will be now 2 in front and then integral of 1 over you can see it as 1 over and then du in front, u squared plus 1, and we have 1 over x squared plus 1. So it's going to be arctangent or tangent minus 1, u plus c. Great, this is awesome awesome, awesome answer with great example. But is this the end? No, remember that this u is intermediate notation. You the one who used it to make your life easier. Nobody knows what you is except you. So you have to go back to show the reader who started with integral in terms of x what is the answer of this integral in terms of x. Nobody knows what this u is. So since you created this u, you have to go back using this notation. u is x squared. The answer is 2 tangent minus 1 of x squared plus c. 
put it in the box and this is the answer hope this was helpful and don't freak out when you have to work with inverse tricks that's what we had here that's where we had inverse tricks you can find uh, i have a video about that about inverse tricks or go back and just review a little bit calculus one material when we taught you how to differentiate arc tangent arc cosine arc sine and arc secant arc secant okay great job for watching